All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on a narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate it. Take it one day at a time. Most definitely. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights, getting us through the week, the weekends. Just praise him. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son dying for our sins. There's so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever, his truth endures forever. Amen. So always keep him first, always worship him, always thank him, praise him, and trust in him through it all. Most definitely. Welcome everyone i appreciate all of you for listening and supporting it means a lot to me i love you all praying for you all let us always uplift each other in christ and encourage each other in the lord let us always pray for each other comfort each other intercede for one another support each other all those great amazing things people brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world let us be together on one accord for the lord amen most definitely much love to the 12 tribes of israel scattered all four corners of the earth all the scattered israelites among the nations all ends of the earth much love to all the churches and mysteries out there the sound doctrine the peace the harmony the services and the fellowship much love to the previous martyrs current martyrs and future martyrs the brave bold isolated courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel who are being persecuted for the faith who are going through many tribulations for his name's sake. Stay strong, steadfast, and firm. Amen. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, race, faiths, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the brand new creatures in Christ, all the brand new converts out there. Anyone who just became a believer, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you. Anyone who just got, who repented, God bless you as well. And if you didn't get baptized, you didn't repent, go and get, go repent, get baptized ASAP immediately. Amen. Most definitely. Greetings, family. Shalom, everyone. Welcome, everybody. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faiths, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise Him. Rejoice, always rejoice. Make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound. Cry out to Him, dance, express yourself, play an instrument. Do what you got to do for the Most High. He is always watching us, so always serve Him with gladness and joy. And always worship your spirit and truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God for your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour and nobody knows but the Father. So let us be watchful, prayed up, alert, sober, vigilant. All those beautiful, amazing things washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us keep our lamps and oils. Keep the word of God. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep the commandments. Keep the law, such commandments. Keep everything. Keep the faith. Keep everything together for the most high, okay? Let's stay in our purpose. Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us more often through dreams, visions, and encounters of various ways of communication. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. And let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally, according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, our situations, handle it, people. Amen. Be responsible and be more firm with what you're doing because we will be given an account. All right. So much love to all of you out there. And take it one day at a time. Okay. Stay strong, people. All right. Now, in today's message, we will go through Jen DeLeon's church note, and then from there, we will close out with a prayer, we will close out with a priestly blessing, and we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. All right, y'all. So just take it one day at a time, people. Be strong, okay? Keep your head up, all right? Now, the title of this church note is The Power of Agreement. 
Starts off with the book of John, chapter 4, verses 25 through 31. Let's continue with this church note. Just because I don't have conflict verbally doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Destructive conflict and constructive conflict. The most difficult part on conflict resolution is agreeing on what the conflict is. If there was no agreement on what the conflict is, then we don't have creativity on how to tackle it. It's not the conflict the enemy uses. It's the division on what the conflict is that he uses. Where there is where there is no agreement, there will be division, and where there is no where, and then where is divi- wherever there is division, there will be destruction. Many of us are at a crossroad in our faith and get distant with God because we're not in agreement with God. Because we didn't agree with God, we couldn't get our faith back in harmony. Master the art of being conflicted but still listening. You may not agree with God when it starts, but if you keep listening when it is all said and done, you will agree. When things don't play out like we thought they would, we get upset with God. God agrees with you that it shouldn't have happened to you. Where you and God disagree is that your story ended when that pain entered. Stop wrestling with God on who hurt you, who left you. The enemy is making you think God did you wrong, did you dirty, but the enemy is using God's name in vain. The enemy tried to wipe me out, but God said, not yet. I didn't want you in it. I didn't want it to break you. What you're living is not my plan, but I can still interject my plan if you will lay down your grief. There are some things you won't be able to access until you come into agreement with God. You're not even going to know when it hits you. I just need you to agree. You think the conflict is one thing, but God has a whole other idea of what the conflict really is. The conflict inside you, the conflict that keeps you from engaging with people, the conflict that has left you thirsty. The person was thirsty for partnership and love. It wasn't that the person was trying. It's that every time the person tries to leave, they're thirsty. This is like someone thinking degree after degree is going to keep you satisfied. A lot of people you call blessed are still thirsty. They get the person, they get the house, they get the money, the friends, but they're still thirsty on the inside, still deal with emptiness. Sometimes we can't get conviction from God because we won't own the truth of our story. And we want God to pretend like we're not in the same cycle over and over again, leaving us thirsty. If we're going to be in agreement with God, we've got to be in agreement with what the conflict is. You've been asking God and You've been asking God based off what you know. Sometimes we're asking God questions on a level of what we know, but if you knew what God knew about you, you would ask differently. Some of you want to know God. I want to be a friend of God. What the person thought needed, that person needed, isn't what that person really needs. Do not despise the drinks of revelation that God has given you. God says everything I throw in your direction, you better take it because it has multiplication multiplication. You're prepared for a fight, but it's going to be easier than you think. You're getting ready to be released like never before. You're getting ready to move into spaces where you thought there would be opposition. God already cleared the path. I'm just waiting for you to take off. I already cleared the lane. I just need you to come in agreement. I need you to drop the dead weight. What you need is already inside of you. This person is not the person they once knew, and the person need their permission doesn't need their permission to perform to transform because when you've been endorsed by heaven, it doesn't matter what man can say. It doesn't matter what man says. It doesn't matter what your past has been. You want the release, but you're not in agreement. You're going to have to agree with God that you are anointed for this position, that you can break this generational curse. You have to remind your spirit that you agree with God. I'm not saying you won't be anxious or afraid. You're going to have to confront That depression because you agree with God that this shouldn't be your life. Your language changes when you agree with God. Stop acting like your destiny is optional and start acting like your destiny is non-negotiable. Stop pretending like he may or may not do it. I may not have much time left, so I got no time to waste. If you are not agreeing with God, you are agreeing with something. I know what it's like to agree with the enemy about my destiny, but you've you've got to break the covenant with hell. You've got to be willing to ask yourself, What I've come into agreement with, have I come into agreement with shame, trauma, depression, the power of agreement, release a strategy to live out what you have agreed to. And that's why you can't leave the toxic relationship and making the same poor decision over and over again. You have to come into agreement with something that is beneath what God has for you and you're empowering that agreement with your decisions. At any given moment, that agreement is not binding. You have the ability to change your mind. Amen. All glory to the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel, God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the Lord, always, forever. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Hallelujah. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate. Praise the most high, the almighty, true living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. 
the apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born of all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the hair of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, the I am, who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings, the Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna of the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, the commander, the life, the lie of the world, lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is holiness, the Lord is my banner, the Lord is my portion, my strength, my rock, my refuge, my good fortress, my high tower, my shield, my buckler, my strength, my song, my salvation, my redeemer, my help. Praise him, my provider. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakafa, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai, Yeshaya, Adonai, Abba. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of heavenly lights. He is the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician, can heal all things. He is the carpenter, can fix all things with God. All things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rest on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree. Call on him. He'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek him with all your heart and you will find him. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently. Know that he exists. Believe in him. Trust in him. Know he could do for you. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracle signs, wonders. Ask the Father what you need. Abide in him and let him abide in you. And whatever you ask the Father in the Son's name, it shall be given to you. We touch and agree. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God is one. Our faith has made us well. Our faith has saved us. Our faith has blessed us. Our faith is how we overcome the world. The just shall live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Most definitely. We know that for the rest of our lives, the outstretched arm of God will be in our lives forever. The mighty hand of God will be in our lives forever. The finger of God will be on our lives forever. Amen. Most definitely. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God. The precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection of life, the resurrection, the resurrector, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone of builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. He is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, most definitely the work, the, always the living word, the word made flesh, most definitely. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the honor and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel and I shall bless them.